Good evening everyone. Today it's Friday, April 7th, 2023. Um, I kept postponing to do the, the log entry today um, until I just realized it's already quite late. But I reckon I'll do a quick one. Um, today I managed to finish um, the dice gun build. Pretty happy with the measurements and everything. This is the final look. It got some nice ornament, I must say, um, in it. Um, it's dice. Um, <clears throat> Actually today, uh, I spent half of the day to prepare the order um, for... Sorry, today I spent half of my day preparing two Pocket Dungeon orders. Um, I just managed to print boards. This is another one. And one box. And I'm gonna print uh, another one. Uh, one more box overnight so that I will have everything ready by tomorrow and I just need to print some small stuff like the walls and um, I think I get some um, spare pawns and walls over there so I'm gonna start assemble them packing and hopefully can send them out by Monday um, something interesting came up um, while I was trying to print the board. I'm trying to use an old um, filament. There wasn't much left and uh, I was trying to risk it and gamble and see if if it's actually enough for one board. Turns out it's not and I realized it, I realized it fortunately before it went and uh, it's running out because my 3D printer doesn't have this um, filament sensors. And while I saw that, I just thought maybe if I pause it and change the filament into a new one mid-print, I can still somehow save it. And I can't believe that after five years, I think, since I have this, this is the first time I'm trying to change filament mid-print. Doesn't go as much. Um, it's not as easy. I think there is something wrong with the G-code. Um, because when I press um, pause print, the nozzle will just stay on the spot where it's printing. And I don't want to tinker with it too much, hoping that I still can somehow salvage the print. And I just I quickly change it and I realize that what because of the nozzle that is staying there, it somehow melts the middle part of the board a bit. You can still see there is some gums here level for I need to clean it up with a cutter but yeah it's funny that I just have a courage to do it after five years um, also lessons of the days um, maybe I shouldn't have risked it for uh, next time <laughs> just like use that um, um, old roll I mean, just like to be safe and use like the, uh, the new one that has like plenty and enough filament to print like thousands of the board. Anyway, pretty inter interesting experience. Um, I posted my first short videos on TikTok about this dice gun this morning. And I was worried that it didn't really get much reaction until a couple hours ago when people started commenting that's how cool it was. I was pretty happy. They they asked where they where can they find the STL and stuff. I was pretty happy happy that it got some nice reaction. Um hopefully yeah, things will get picked up and tomorrow I will start taking some more pictures and upload it on Called 3D and Gum Road. Yeah, I guess that's the update for today. Um, hopefully tomorrow. I'm not gonna postpone 
look in three and do it uh, first thing tomorrow and day after tomorrow I will post my um, um, how to video like the build video for my team fortress 2 flare gun so yeah I think I just need to finalize some small parts and upload it and schedule it for Sunday and it also means that there won't be any log entry on Sunday um, but yeah that's a bit for today um, see you tomorrow